Before we get into the next lesson, I thought it was an appropriate time to discuss some things that we've already been working on in class, and that is solving equations. And now that we've moved into graphing equations or graphing functions, I think this is a good idea to now discuss in more detail what a solution is. And so you can see the title of the lesson in this pre-lesson is, what is a solution? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to walk you through a couple examples. And of course, you can read through the definitions uh, and the information. And I just want to point out a few highlights of these notes. And um, as always, if there's anything that's a little unclear on this, be sure to ask in class, jot your questions down during the during this video, and then let's let's clarify in, in, in classroom. So as you recall, the three most common directions we have in algebra are simplify, evaluate, and solve. Now for this first example, we're going to discuss solving equations. And so we're just kind of come down here and I just want to point out a few highlights here. Now, in general, when you solve an equation and you find that value for a given variable, what you found at that point is a solution. Now, to be more detailed about that, what a solution is, a solution is actually any value that makes the original equation a true statement. And so, let's just take a look at example number one. We can see that the process of finding x takes us through a couple parts here. And so, if you recall, you know, we're just going to subtract one from both sides to get to 2x equals to 4. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2 to get a x equals to 2. And so we've now found a value for x. And so we would call x a solution to this equation. Now, if you remember, your Algebra 1 teachers should have emphasized the point of checking your answers. And so you can see the check process here where we take the 2 value for x and we plug it back into the original equation. And you can see very simply that it creates a statement that says 5 equals to 5. And since we know this to be a true statement, this verifies that x is a solution for the equation 2x plus 1. And so that is just a simple explanation of, of what a solution is and how it creates a true statement. Now, I want you to notice here that we had x equals to 2 and we only had one solution. And that is because of the exponent value of the given equation. And so you can see here if I take 2x plus 1 equals to 5, the exponent value for that x is an understood 1. So that tells us that there is only one solution for this particular equation. Now, as we move on later in the year and we start to learn about other types of functions, we could end up solving equations that look like this. And in this case, you can see that this particular equation has an exponent value, the highest exponent value in this case, of 2. And so what this actually tells me is that there are two solutions. And so as you progress through the year and we work with more difficult material, you're going to want to check to see what the highest exponent value is, and we call that a degree in polynomials then that'll tell you how many answers you're looking for or how many solutions there actually are. So, good introduction there. Now, let's move down and let's talk about evaluating a little bit. Now, as we've moved into functions and linear functions in general, we are now graphing linear functions, which means that we're having to come up with ordered pairs for the graph. These ordered pairs are actually considered solutions to the function. And so if we gave you an example like example number 2 to graph the function y equals 2x plus 1, we would probably use a t-chart to help us come up with our ordered pairs. Now in the process of filling in that t-chart, we are going to be evaluating the function for each x value that we decide to use. And so you can see I have my missing spot in my t-chart up here. Um, and so I'm going to evaluate for 1. And so when I evaluate the function for 1, I get y equals to 3. So we can see that this answer right here would be 3, and that would give us the ordered pair 1, 3. Now, we can check that ordered pair just like we did in the previous equation. And if we check the ordered pair, we see that we get, again, a true statement when result with the resulting check. And so what that tells me is that the ordered pair 1, 3 is a solution to the function y equals 2x plus 1. 
So that means any point that I get that would create a true statement is going to be a solution to the function. So every single point on the graph when you graph it is considered a solution to the function. Alright, hopefully that will help you as we move into later sections.